Hello, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us here for the semifinal post-game press conference, the 2024 CUSA Basketball Championships. We're joined by UTEP head coach Joe Golding, by senior guard Tay Hardy, by junior guard Corey Camper, Jr. We'll make sure the attending media here in Huntsville have the ability to ask their questions first, then we'll move to our Zoom audience. For the Zoom audience, if you'd like to go ahead and start putting your questions in the queue, it will help uh, just in the interest of time. Please state your name and affiliation prior to asking your question. Thank you for attending. Thank you for your patience. And we'll now begin with the opening statement from Coach before opening the floor for questions. Yeah, first of all, a ton of respect for Sam Houston State. Um, I think Coach Mudge, uh, you know, rightfully so, was Coach of the Year. Uh, he's done a terrific job with that team. Uh, that's what's bad about this level, um, you know, the, the, the regular season. Um, doesn't really mean, I mean, it helps in the seating, but uh, it comes down to the conference tournament. But congrats to them on their year. I think he's done a terrific job and a lot of respect for their team and their program. Uh, but just proud of our guys. This has been a resilient group all year, uh, led by this guy to the left of me. He's been a heck of a leader uh, for us. And, uh, you know, um, just just the toughness and resilience of this group, man, to, to be down 12 um, against a really good team like Sam uh, and be able to come back and, um, you know, we rolled the dice a little bit tonight, man. Uh, we, we played Tay Hardy with four fouls, uh, trusted him on that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, thought, uh, I thought our team just – we have a motto in our program called row the boat and then next guy stand up. And uh, the guy that Tay's left, I thought he was terrific tonight. You know, that was the matchup we thought we could take advantage of. And trying to get him to be aggressive is – like trying to tame my 13-year-old. I've been trying to tell Corey to shoot more all year. Uh, we had to get his dad to drive all night down here to bring some juice and light a fire in him. But uh, that was the matchup that, that we knew that we could get. And Corey stepped up uh, huge for us. And Derek Hamilton was terrific. Trey Horton, one of our freshmen, uh, big three that kind of opened the rim back up and then also uh, got a tip in. And Tay and I were laughing at the scores table on that. Um, but uh, just really, really, really proud of our group, uh, and uh, you know we're, we're deserving uh, of this, and excited to to compete with them tomorrow night. Okay. Hey, coach. Uh, Brent Wilson, Bill back this time. Uh, they were up uh, 14, and then all of a sudden your your offense had to get 32 points there in the middle of the second half, and then you about doubled that the rest of the game. What happened? Up there? Yeah, um, you know, the, first of all, they're really good defensively, and, and, and then we, they're physical and they're tough. Um, we didn't finish. Um, you know, we, we didn't make free throws in the first half, and we didn't make layups, and we, we, met, we left some points up there up layups at the rim, especially in transition, and then also in the half court. And then I think the second half, our ball movement was a lot better. Uh, we started moving the ball. Um, a, a lot better. You can't attack Sam Houston on the first side. You got to get it to the second or third side. It's completely different than Liberty. You know, Liberty, we, we didn't mind attacking on the first side. We were trying to attack certain matchups and, you know, quick turnaround. It was, it was just hard to adjust. I thought we got off to a great start getting out in transition and then we just couldn't get any rhythm going uh, offensively. Um, and then we just started going to the middle ball screen stuff, right? We just went to the middle of the floor, put the ball in Tay and Corey and Zid's hands uh, in, in the middle of the floor and those guys made great decisions. What, uh, what, what difference did uh, Derek Hamilton yeah, I thought he was terrific, man. And, and what I liked about it was his toughness, man. Um, you know, he, he got on the offensive glass uh, and got some big time, uh, big time rebounds. He had four offensive rebounds, and I, I think out of those four, probably three, uh, he scored on, on those offensive rebounds. And so uh, that's just want to and toughness. And and um, you know, if you're going to beat Sam, they're not going to beat themselves, right? They're old or mature. They've been together for a long time. You've got to go beat them, and you got to go make plays. And uh, I thought that's what Derek did. And he just gave us a physicality and a toughness that kind of matched. Today you're down 14. Uh, did you guys think at all about like 16 hours ago when you were down 12? I mean, the run was almost exactly the same. Um, like Coach said, uh, we got a resilient team. Uh, we just we just step up to the plate. We don't we don't quit. I mean, we don't stop playing until the last buzzer sounds off. So um, just proud of the team. Next man mentality. Uh, just it's from player one to player 15, even the staff, like we just, we stay together and keep playing, keep fighting until it's over. Corey, what turned it around for you guys? Um, like Coach been saying, our motto is everybody likes the comeback story. And that's mainly what we've been focusing on this, this last couple weeks is everybody likes the comeback story. I bet they love it today. Oh, now yeah. pass on that. <laughs> Coach, I mean, do you think when you're down 14, do you think, hours ago we were here? No, I, I wasn't thinking that at all. I just kept trying to, I didn't see, uh, we, we looked frustrated, right? And in the timeouts we looked frustrated and the effort was there, you know, but we were just, just like, 
frustrated and I kept saying smile joy like like we, we we're, we're fine man you know like let's all we got to do is get one to go in and uh, we just kept missing layups and we couldn't get the free you know and that, that's what I was saying like Corey hit some big shots but when Trey went hit that one then we obviously brought Tay in he got the two layups and the, the rim just started to open up a little bit more um and and our, our guys were just first effort's never been a problem with this group this group's this group has uh, been one of the best groups I've coached as far as effort and that's I mean, you, you can say a lot of things about our basketball team, but, you know, we go four for 14 from the three, 19 for 28 from the free throw line, um, 17 turnovers, only six assists, and we just beat the conference champion, right? That's toughness, right? No, that's a resilient group that has toughness that finds a way to win the game. And we won the game by getting to the free throw line, and then we won the game by out-rebounding one of the best rebounding teams in the country. We out-rebound them three, and we get 11 offensive rebounds. So, um, you know, that, that's, that's just kind of been this team all year. Um, well, it started off with Trey's three. Uh, I feel like that opened the basket up for us, but we never have a mentality where like it's just it's, it's over when it's over. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we've been we've been through this plenty of times throughout this season, and as we just we just keep fighting. Uh, we're it's it's a it's a great connected team, and we just we just stay together. And like Coach said, we just have some joy even when it's tough, even when everything ain't going our way. We just, just you gotta keep a smile on your face and just have positive thoughts. Turn negative to a positive stuff like that. Hey, Brett, I'll also say that uh, I'm just thinking the game back in my mind right now, too, when we threw it into Derek and Derek threw it out to Corey mm -hmm. and Corey hit that big three. I think that what gave us the lead, maybe, uh, you know, and the momentum and the great play by Derek. You know, he drew attention and was smart enough to kick it back out instead of forcing. So good things started happening in the second half. Inside out. Corey, when did you, is, is this all meant to be at this point? I, I think it is. I'll, I'll glory to God. Uh, I want to say, uh, never in my mind did I think we was gonna lose that game. From start to finish, when we was down, I never thought we was gonna lose that game. I truly think it's meant to be. Okay, Coach, I have a few questions from the Zoom audience. Yep. From Steve Kaplowitz from 600 ESPN. Uh, first of all, you talked earlier about Hamilton, how he opened up the offense in the second half. If you'll just talk about the impact he makes on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I mean, obviously offensively he helps us a ton, right? Uh, and he's got a toughness to him. He's really grown up in the last, what, month? Uh, you know, there was a time where, where Derek didn't have a lot of toughness to him and he wasn't practicing good, and I know he was frustrated, and uh, he stuck to the process. He trusted it, and then there was a point in time we needed him, and I, I don't know when it all started. It was maybe around Jacksonville State yeah. there, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit before where he was practicing better and we gave him an opportunity and he's made the most of it. And that's the growth with Derek is just the toughness. It means something to him. He missed one defensive rebound late. I thought yeah. Corey getting on him, but he just, uh, he, he's big and he's, he's, he's so strong, and he, but he's a gentle giant. Uh, but but uh, I, I think what the other adjustment is, uh, you know, sometimes as coaches we're hard-headed uh, and we obviously like to trap ball screens. Kevin Clue is one of the best in, in, in the country at that. Um, but we, we started dropping Derek um, about two, two weeks ago as well um, and just keeping him in front of the rim, and it's really helped him defensively uh, a ton. I think it's made us better defensively as well. Okay, another question from Steve. Coach, how tough of a call was it playing Tay with four fouls in the second half? I'll spin that off the next question. Tay, how was it just – with your mindset to have to play with four fouls in the second half. It wasn't tough at all for me, man. It's March, man. You can't sit back. You got to take chances in March, what March is about, man. You can't have any regrets. Uh, if I'm going down, I'm going down swinging in March. So Tate's one of our best players, if not our best player. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a warrior. He's, he's been with me. Uh, he, he came back this year just to, to get this program back. That's, that's where I'm happy, man. Like, we're not, we're not done yet, but uh, – Tay, Tay came back to get to this moment, man, and uh, there was no way I was going to sit there. He looked like he, his dog died, too, when I went over there with four fouls. You know, he's like, I ain't going out my senior year like this, coach. I was like, Tay, I'm going back with you, man. But uh, just uh, absolutely, you got to take some chances in March. What March about? Yeah, uh, what coach said, uh, he came up to me on the bench talking, we're going to roll the dice. We're going to take a gamble. Like, this is, this is what we live for in March. Um, he trusted me. I trusted him. Came out there, just gave it all I got. Even if I fouled out, I still trust my teammates to finish the game for me. Uh, didn't didn't let the fouls call affect my my energy, affect my the hustle on the defensive side. Um, just played as much as I could, could when I came back in, and I, I appreciate my team for um, stepping up and finishing the game for us. That's two games in a row we've had to finish without team, man. Yeah. We we appreciate tomorrow, man. You stay on the floor a little bit, man. <laughs> Another from Steve. This is for Corey. How have you seen your confidence translate to your offensive game? Uh, confidence has been a, a big factor I've been working on this, this year. And coaches, he, like he told me, Jack, Jacksonville State, when I didn't really, I 
really wasn't playing good. He, he never lost confidence in me, and that just boosted my confidence. All right, Coach, another from Steve. UTEP is becoming the cardiac kids, and let's stress that cardiac and kids, he has an uppercase. How big are the two massive second-half comebacks for the team's confidence heading into the title game tomorrow night? Yeah, I think it all started at Jacksonville State, right? Um, you know, we, we had this huge, uh, you know, um, weight on our shoulder. We couldn't win on the road all year. We were close. Uh, and uh, just, again, a resilient group that didn't quit, uh, kept fighting. We learned a lot of life lessons. And, uh, that's what athletics will do. It will teach you life lessons. And uh, this, this group never quit. They showed up every day. They were on time. They worked. I don't know if we've had many bad practices, maybe one or two all year. This group just trusted the process, stuck together. And then every team needs a big win. You know, it, it happens every year. Some, some get it earlier, some get it later. And Jacksonville State was a, was a big one. They got the weight off our shoulder. And then we went to Liberty and beat a really good Liberty team on their home floor, which doesn't happen very often, and obviously took off from there. But we're, we're playing with a lot of confidence um, and, and just a resilient group. And again, um, you know, sometimes we go through these scoring droughts and it doesn't look pretty, but uh, these guys can tend to defend and play hard, and the game never gets away from us. Okay. Further questions in here? Further questions from the Zoom meeting? Tell Steve to buy a plane ticket and get here tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I guess, I hope you got that last quote. Or maybe, man, the way it's going, man, just stay in El Paso, man. Huh? <laughs> See you guys. Thanks. Appreciate you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be here for a little bit.